in this video, we actually go over a full Q&A of questions that you guys asked on my personal Instagram to help you grow your Instagram and monetize your Instagram account in 2019. Here we actually talk on how we apply several things in our Instagram marketing business that took our business like crazy and grew it to almost $2 million in sales in the last year alone. And this was starting almost from complete scratch. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that like button and that red subscribe button down below and join the notification squad so you do not miss a thing because this video is going to be a good one. And I'm actually going to bribe you if you stay until the very end, because just like on every single video we do, we're doing a giveaway. So if you stay until the end, we're actually going to show you how you can participate. So let's get started with the Q&A at 4.56 a.m. What a stupid idea. Who wants a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning? Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> Cue the intro. What is up guys, my name is Oswald Peña and welcome to Online CEOs, that a channel that is all about helping you grow and monetize your brand, business and influence with social media and marketing. And as you know, we're kind of like the Instagram specialists, Instagram gurus, Instagram gods. Before the Lord of Thunder, the Lord of Instagram, the Instagram King. I mean, after all, we own all those domains. Anyways, let's get started with the Q&A. First question, hashtag research. One thing, that's not really a question, but I'm gonna show you how to do the hashtag research anyways. Now, the first thing you got to understand when it comes to hashtags is the hashtags are like keywords on Google. Google ranks hashtags depending on like actual keywords, depending on the blog and all that stuff. So hashtags on Instagram work exactly the same way. They help categorize the content and show the content that actually relevant to the actual people and tells Instagram what your content is about. So when it comes to hashtags, you have to make sure that you use the right one that is for you which means that our hashtag that you can actually rank in. So for example, if you have a relationship page, you using the hashtag love and pretending you're going to rank in the hashtag love is not going to serve you much because the hashtag love has literally billions of posts in there, which means you're competing with billions of people at the same time. So in order to rank in the hashtag love, it is very, very, very tough. So why are you picking a fight when you're a small guy, you're picking a fight with a freaking humongous like Goliath, no. <laughs> what you want to do is actually use hashtags that you can rank in and that you can actually win. So in short, pick a battle that you can win. Now the question becomes, how do you actually determine the battle that you can win, AKA know which hashtags to use? Well, it's pretty simple. If you're able to rank in the top nine posts with the average engagement, means the likes and comments that you get on your post, then you're able to rank in there. Meaning that you average out the average engagement that a top nine post in a hashtag has. And if you're able to get the same amount of average engagement as that hashtag, then you also use it for yourself. If you cannot do that, do not use the hashtag, please. I beg of you, don't use it. As a general rule, this means that you will be able to use hashtags between 300,000 users and a million users. This gives you a good amount of exposure, but also is not super, super crazy competitive and allows you to rank in the Instagram algorithm with the hashtags. And one thing to take into account is to make sure your hashtags are relevant. Make sure your hashtags are related to the freaking post in the first place. And not, let's say, for example, you're posting a picture of a car and you're using the hashtag I love my makeup. <laughs> Just make sure that your hashtags are relevant. And one extra tip when it comes to the hashtags, make sure you use what we call is the stair step effect. And what this means is that since you're able to use 30 hashtags per post, you take a small percentage of the hashtags and use hashtags that you can rank in. Meaning you take 10 hashtags that you can always, always rank in. Then from there, you take about five to eight hashtags that you can maybe rank in. And then from there, you take three or five hashtags that you can something ranking like it's very very high it's like very unlikely and then you take like one or two hashtags that you can like man like if i had ranking that thing i'm gonna be a goat the instagram goat and what this does is that as you're able to rank in the first batch of hashtags which are the ones that you're always ranking it allows you to rank in the second one and then as you rank in the second one then you rank in the third one and then you rank in the third one then you rank in the fourth one so it creates these like step step effect or stair ladder effect 
which allows you to use hashtag in a more efficient way. This is something that we actually talk extensively and show our screen and screenshots and all that good stuff in our free training, igboss.com. I am going to leave a link in the description below, also in the pinned comment below, so you can actually check it out. But make sure before you actually go and check it out that you actually block between one to two hours because it's not a fluffy training. It's actually step by step and it takes you not only to grow, but also to monetize your own Instagram account. Now on to question number two, how to contact influencers on Instagram to promote my affiliate link product. First of all, that's not proper English, but I shouldn't be talking. I can barely speak it. All right, moving on. The first thing you need to understand when you try to contact influencers is that obviously they're human. So try to be human. And second is try to be straight to the point. So many people message my big account saying, hey, bro, I want a free shout out or hey, bro, blah, blah, blah. And like they want to take value from me instead of giving when they are the ones coming to me to ask. And this is coming not from a place of arrogance, but from a place I'm actually the influencer, so I'm seeing this stuff happen. And what happens in that scenario? You simply block, delete, peace out, and I kick you up the door. Because there's no real value in that conversation. So if you want an influencer to promote your link or product to their own following, you actually need to bring something that's valuable to the table for them. It can be money. It can be maybe the product is amazing and they want it for free. It can be maybe an amazing affiliate commission or amazing affiliate program. Just figure out a way that you're actually going to bring value to the actual influencer before you ask for something. Now, when it comes to actually getting hold of the influencers, there are several ways you can do this. There's obviously Instagram DM. That's probably the easiest one. There's obviously the also email that most influencers and people who sell promotions and shout outs have it in their profile. And also there's a big button right there when they have a business profile. Sometimes they also have their phone number attached to their profile and in their bio. And other times when they're really, really big, they have what's called a kick. Kick is just a messaging platform like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. And a lot of influencers and people in the community of Instagram use it to sell shout outs and promotions. There's also Telegram and WhatsApp that some influencers use to sell shout outs and promotions and get in contact with them. But the most important thing is that you actually go out there and get right to the point. Don't send a super long text and message because nobody has time for that. And make sure you lead with something with value. And this can be something as simple as, hey, bro, I love your page. You're acknowledging the page. You're acknowledging their hard work. Everybody loves to be acknowledged. How much would you charge for a promotion on your page? This is the product. This is the link. This is the information. Let me know. I want to move ASAP and also establish a long term relationship where we actually buy promotions and shout outs from you on a regular basis. Boom. As simple as that. And yes, some influencers are harder to get a hold of than others because of their big followings. But just stay consistent, hit them up on several channels and several pages, and you'll be good. Question number three How can you monetize with only 2,000 followers? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's actually what we do. Well, lucky for you, we actually have a video on that specific topic right here on the channel. So just click it right here in the description below. And also a completely free igboss.com training teaches you in secret number three how to do that exactly. And believe it or not, with only two to three thousand followers, you can make over one hundred and sixty thousand dollars per year with completely free traffic from Instagram without paying a single penny. But to answer your question here shortly here on this video, what you want to do is provide something of value. Make sure you're doing Instagram stories. Make sure you're relating to people on a personal basis. Do a pitch, what we call the Instagram story webinar pitch, where it would be basically just take Instagram stories, provide some value, make a poll to pre-frame people before we sell them and then pitch them. And after you make the pitch, make sure you follow up with the people who voted yes or make a positive interest in your offer and follow up with them via DM. We actually made over $71,000 in just seven days using this exact strategy with my own personal Instagram following several months ago when it was only between 10 to 20,000 followers. So it's very, very small. And I didn't use any of my big Instagram accounts to actually promote and post the story. I'm actually going to leave a link to a Facebook blog post that we wrote explaining step by step and actually how we did it. Question number four, how to grow my Instagram page from zero. Where are you in luck today? Cause I'm actually going to tell you and give you a ton of free resources and give you a ton of free tools to actually grow your page. So first off, let's answer this question shortly. You need to understand that Instagram is a platform that depends on two different factors, content and distribution. If you're able to have both, you would win because for example, let's say you are an amazing artist. You have amazing content, amazing pictures, amazing videos, but no distribution then it's worthless. But let's just say you have an amazing distribution channel, but no content then it's also worthless. So you need both. And this is how you get it by simply applying what we call the four 
pillars of Instagram, content, consistency, market research, and networking. These four things are even the stuff that we do today to blow up Instagram accounts super, super quickly for our clients and for our students. In short, the first step that you want to do is do the market research, know who your influencers are, know who your competitors are, and just see what they're doing and model success. Whether you have a personal brand and you want to be famous and want to be in front of the camera, or let's say you're a little bit shy, you don't want the, you know, the camera and you will just want to run the page and just have a brand and theme page. This applies to both scenarios. After you've done the market research, what do you do? Well, you just implement the market research you just did. So the content piece is actually another pillar. It just falls down because you actually know already what content to post based on the market research. The consistency pillar also falls down because you already know how many times a day you post because of the market research. And the last pillar, which is networking, which I call the gasoline on the fire, which literally, if you take the prior three pillars, apply them, set the foundation, that's kind of like the fire, right? Fire. And then you take networking, the gasoline, and then you go like, it basically goes like, boom. Your Instagram will literally explode. That's actually how Alex Wilkie right here, one of our most successful students, grew over 700,000 followers for his account, Beautify Basics, and now runs a really successful Instagram business. And what does networking look like? Well, you did the market research, you know who the influencers are, and it literally just means collaborating with them and seeing how they can promote you, see how they can like and comment on your pictures and all that good stuff. I'm going to link below to more videos where I actually go more in depth in the specific topic. So they're going to be linked below or in the card right here. What business should I start in 2019? That's a great question. And in my opinion, the easiest business that you can start today in 2019 is an Instagram marketing business or just using Instagram as the tool and driving factor to your business and your passion. Instagram right now is blowing up like crazy and we all know it. Everybody, when you meet somebody on the street, you're like, hey, what's your Instagram? They don't even ask you for your phone number anymore. They're like, hey, what's your Instagram? Hey, what's your ID? Hey, what's your Insta? Because that has become the norm and the portfolio to your life and who you are. So if you're able to build your skills when it comes to Instagram, you will be able to run and build a successful business, whether you want to build your own following for your own Instagram page, or you want to do it for clients and charge for that. And that is exactly how we have been able to build our own business with an Instagram marketing agency. All you really have to do is learn and know the skills when it comes to Instagram. You don't even need to have your own big following. And then from there you go and close and find clients that actually need your Instagram services. And then you charge them to actually manage and access your skills, maybe on consulting or maybe on a done for you service. And that is as simple as that. And that's why I believe this is the best business you can start in 2019. If you want to find out more about how to make money on Instagram, how to build a business with Instagram and all that good stuff, I'm going to leave a link to a playlist with several videos where we actually talk about all business, all money related, how to actually build a business with Instagram in 2019. How to grow a personal brand to become a lifestyle influencer. Again, this ties into the question, how to grow on Instagram in general. All you really have to do is implement the four pillars of Instagram, content, consistency, market research, and networking. And actually what I want you to do right now, if you understood that here, make sure you comment all four below, because I want to make sure you get this to your head that it doesn't matter the niche. It doesn't matter the industry. It doesn't even matter the language. This works. And how do I know this? Well, check this out. These are our accounts. But what about fitness and all the other niches, right? How about I just show you some of our clients and some of our students? Say hello to my little friend. As you can see, we have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonials, case studies, and people have had amazing success at implementing just these four pillars. If you want to see even more testimonials, especially from the people who joined the IG boss program, and maybe you have some frequently asked questions. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So actually you can see with your own eyes that the four pillars of Instagram work like crazy. Now question for you, what are your goals for 2019? Maybe you have goals for Instagram. Maybe you have goals for your own business. Maybe you want to start and build your own Instagram marketing agency. I want to know in the comment section below and you by just hitting the like button right now, subscribing and commenting what your goals for 2019 are, we'll literally get to answers for our giveaway, which like always, we will give away a hundred dollars straight to your PayPal. 
And if you want to increase your chances of winning, make sure you just take a video or a screenshot of this video right here, post it on your own Instagram stories and tag me in it so I can actually see it. The winners will be selected and announced on my own personal Instagram story. And that has been the Q&A video for today, Online CEOs family. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if you want us to keep doing this stuff. If you have any questions or have any future videos or ideas that we you want us to cover, make sure you comment them down below. This has been Jose Peña with Online CEOs helping you grow and monetize your brand, business, and influence with social media and marketing. Keep crushing it, and we'll see you on the next video.